Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13 Doctor Who DVD review. And today we are going to be ta continuing uh, <laughs> my series of requests for taking a look at the Sarah Jane Adventures DVDs with the Sarah Jane Adventures, the complete third series. Now, this review was requested, as per usual, by you. Sorry, not as per usual, but like all the others, except for series one. By Owen Simmons, so thank you, mate. Thank you very much for requesting me to review this DVD. I'll link you, post a link to his channel in the description below. And if you want to make a request for any other Doctor Who um, DVD review, for any Doctor Who DVDs that you want me to review, uh, take a look at my Doctor Who DVD collections of January 2014. A link to that will be in the description below. Um, and also, I'll link you to my playlist of Doctor Who DVD reviews, you know, just in case you want to take a look at my other content, or if you want to, you know, see which DVDs I've already done that you can't request. So, A Sarah Jane Adventures, the complete third series. Now, unlike the other, um, you know, uh, ser unlike series one and two of the Sarah Jane Adventures, this DVD doesn't come in a box set. Uh, instead, it comes in sort of, you know, just a single case in the sleeve, and we're going to get more into that whenever we take a look at it here. So, we've got a BBC DVD up there, uh, The Sarah Jane Adventures, the complete third series, it's rated PG, it's a two-disc set, blah blah blah, and on the front, uh, like with um, uh, the complete second series, we've got the, um, the you know, the gang, <laughs> the main gang, uh, Sarah Jane, Clyde, Luke and Rani. Uh, only this time we don't have a Sontaran on the back. Instead, we have uh, three of the main villains in the series. We have um, the Judoon, uh, Eve, and the Slovene child with an explosion in the background. So, yeah. As for the spine, um, we just have, you know, what you'd expect the Sergio Adventures, complete third series, blah, blah, blah. Uh, BBC to entertain and all that. Then on the back. We have the Sarah Jane Adventures, the complete third series. A return. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I just had to sort something out there. Anyway, a return to 13 Batman Road finds Sarah Jane along with her son Luke and teenagers Ronnie and Clyde, with more Earth visiting aliens to investigate. These exciting new adventures include the return of their most fearsome enemy yet. The Jadoon, a lonely telepathic alien whose powers grow out of control, an unexplained phenomena in a haunted house, a painting that comes to life, and a pair of Slovene blathering attempting to overrun Earth with rackweed. Featuring the final scenes recorded by David Tennant during his time as a doctor. Which brings us to our next line. And as Sarah Jane enjoys the happiest day of her life, she is brought joined by two old companions, her favourite robo robot dog, and a certain time traveller of great renown. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the DVDs, um, this DVD, these DVDs feature the following stories. Prisoner of the Jadoon, The Mad Woman in the, in the Attic, The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, which also features an appearance by the 10th Doctor, Mr. David Tennant. Uh, the Eternity Trap, M The Mona Lisa's Revenge, and The Gift. And there's a special feature on here, yeah. From series three onwards, um, the DVDs only include one special feature. An audiobook clip, uh, clip uh, The Sarah Jane Adventures, The White Wolf. And we've also got pictures here, um, The Gang in Pri Prisoner of the Jadoon, and The uh, Slithering Blathering. Series created by Russell T. Davies, produ executive producers Phil Collinson, Russell T. Davies, and Julie Gardner. So, yeah. And so, we, um, that's the slip case, the sleeve. <laughs> then we finally bring the real DVD out itself, itself out. And it's just the same thing. It's the exact same thing. You know, like in most DVDs, the this, this sleeve is basically just the same as the actual DVD. So... Yeah, might as well just take a look inside, seeing as we've already covered everything on the outside in the sleeve. Um, as you can see, it's a two-disc set, 
unlike um, series three, which still features the whilst it still features the same amount of you know episodes and runtime, it it had three discs. But no, they, this one they only put it onto two discs. Well, it only has one special feature, so <laughs> suppose it wouldn't really make sense to put it onto three discs. Although it would have been kind of cooler. Um, so we have the Surge Adventures, the complete third series disc one with Prisoner of the Jadoon, the Mad Woman in the Attic, and the Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. Then we have the Surge Adventures, the complete third series disc two with um, the Eternity Trap, Mona Lisa's Revenge, and The Gift. And then we have a um, series of pictures inside. But yeah, we have... Um, let's see, what, what have we got? Sorry. We've got the Doctor, um, you know, in the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith there. And his time is looking... That's when he's looking at Peter, I think, Peter Dalton. Played by Nigel Havers. Um, Luke, Ronnie and Clyde, in, I think, in a... Yeah, Prisoner of the Jadoon in Andrew Vax's ship. Uh, Sarah Jane there, um, I think that's from Prisoner of the Judoon as well. I don't know, I, I don't know which one that's from. Um, then we got Andravax there, from Prisoner of the, of the Judoon, the Trickster in the Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, K9 coming from under the table in the Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. Um, that's, um, I've forgotten his name now. I've forgotten his name. Uh, yeah, um, him and Mona Lisa in Mona Lisa's Revenge, and Eve in The Mad Woman, from The Mad Woman in the Attic. So, really nice, um, pictures there. So we're just going to put these DVDs back in, and take a look at, um, take a look at the DVD. Right, so... This is probably my least favourite series, to be honest, of the Sarah Jane Adventures. It wasn't bad by any means, it was still entertaining, but, you know, I just felt as though it wasn't as, you know, good as the other series. Um, let's see, Prisoner of the Judoon was quite silly. Um, it was fun and entertaining. Yeah, this is where um, the Sarah Jane Adventures, like, sort of... If you remember Series 2, the thing I liked about that was that it was kind of dark. Um, but this one is more light-hearted and, you know, fun and family-friendly and all that. So, it's obviously it's not going to appeal more to me than the other ones did. Anyway, Series 3 of the Sarah Jane Adventures. Prisoner of the Jadoon was quite good. It was pretty entertaining. Andrew Vax was a good villain. I liked him. Although, the Jadoon... Yeah, I think they were probably you know, pretty much comic relief. Uh, they were quite sinister. I think they were pretty menacing in the Doctor Who story, Smith and Jones. But here, no, they're just comic relief and stuff like that. It's just... Uh, still not as bad as Strax, though. <sighs> I hate Strax. Uh, but anyway, let's see. What else is there? Um, the Mad Woman in the Attic is quite good. Probably my favourite of the entire series. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people say The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith is just as a doctor in it, but actually, um, going back to The Mad Woman in the Attic, this is one of the few that's quite dark and, you know, creepy for a kid's show. Um, Eve is played wonderfully by, I don't know, forgotten the, I don't know the actress's name, but, you know, great performances all around in, uh, the Mad Woman in the Attic. I liked, I really liked, thought, you know, her who played Alderani deserved a gold medal for <laughs> acting. But, um, yeah, let's see what else was there. Uh, yeah, I, li I liked, um, by the way, I give Prisoner of the Jadoon a 7 out of 10 because um, it's not bad, but, you know, it could have been better if it was, wasn't so silly. Um, the Mad Woman in the Attic, I'd give probably a 10 out of 10. Or a 9. I yeah, I know, I know a 10 out of 10. I don't know, one of those two. It, it was really, really good. Um, 
great way to, you know, reflect on the life of Ronnie and stuff like that. So, yeah. The wedding of Sarah Jane Smith was actually uh, quite... It was a little disappointing, to be honest, because we didn't see much of the Doctor in part one. Like, he didn't come in until the cliffhanger of episode one. But, you know, other than that, he was in, like, practically all of part two, episode two. It was really nice to see the Doctor in the Sarah Jane Adventures. I, um, it was the last thing David Tennant filmed, you know, during his tenor. And I think it was a good way for him to go, even go out, you know, even if he... Even though um, The End of Time was broadcast after this, um, this was filmed after the, you know, The Waters of Mars and The End of Time were, even despite the fact that they were broadcast after this. And, you know, I think it's, you know, a pretty good story to go out on filming-wise for David Tennant. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really entertaining story. I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, trickster stories are always good and I really enjoy them. Actually, yeah, I'll probably give it a 9. Uh, 8 or a 9, out of probably 8, yeah, 8. 8. Let's see, um, then we have the Eternity Trap, which is, um, basically just a haunted house story. Th this one's pretty good, this one's pretty entertaining, I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Um, I like the concept, you know, Erasmus Darkening's quite sinister as well. So, above all, you, overall, I, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Anyway, uh, not much to say about the Eternity Trap. Um, it's quite a good story. It's quite good. Then we have um, uh, sorry, I've forgotten what lost my train of thought there. Mona Lisa's Revenge. This is quite, you know, a fun story for the Sarah Jane Adventures. I think this is, you know, quite, just just quite a fun. Good old start time for the Sergio Adventures. It's a it's a good story. Could have been better, but hey, it, it's it, it's good fun. You got to take it for what it is. I give that one an eight out of ten. I was thinking of lowering it to a seven, but no, I give it an eight because it, it is quite enjoyable. Then we have the season finale, the gift, the return of the Slovene. Well, the Slovene Blatherine. Um, this what um. I'll admit, when I first saw this one, I really liked it, but it's not that good when you think about it. It's not that good. I mean, it, it, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just I don't really like the Slothing, to be honest. I mean, I appreciate the fact that they're not in Doctor Who, and, you know, since it's a kid's show, it's been more appropriate to be used with comic relief, but I don't know. The Gift, it's not one of my favourites. It just didn't do anything for me. It's not my least favourite of this series. Probably my least fa It's probably my least favourite, so Jane... Actually, no, no. Um, yeah, it's just my least favourite. I don't know what my least favourite Sarah Jane Adventure story is. But um, The Gift... Um, it's not... It's not... It's not bad, but it's not great. I give it... Um, hmm. Yeah, I give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Could have been better, but... Hey not bad so overall I think with this starting with the complete third series DVD wise they just started to get lazy with these Sarah Jane Adventures DVD releases I mean come on you got it in like just a regular DVD slip case I mean you know regular DVD in its sleeve and as well as that only one special feature which would continue unfortunately for series 4 and 5 I mean come on you should be packing this with special features like you did for series 1 and 2 what the hell happened but still um, if you want the stories I I think I'd give both the series as a whole and the box set itself or the DVD itself a 7 out of 10 you know I'd, I'd recommend starting with series 1 and 2 and you know if you like what you see there and obviously by series three, and obviously, sorry, <laughs> and of course, you know, I mean, I'd recommend it if you like the Sarah Jane Adventures. Um, if you're just getting into it though, I wouldn't recommend starting with this. I'd recommend starting with series one or two, probably series one, or maybe even series four. That's a good one. 
But yeah, that's no, I, yeah. I recommend obviously recommend starting with the series one, or possibly series two. That's good as well. But anyway, that's gonna be that for now. This is Mr. Doctor, Mr. Doctor Who fan thirteen saying word out, and I'll see you next time for my review of the Sarah Jane Adventures: The Complete Fourth Series. Also requested by the same person who requested this one.